when many of the Greenville residents say it is the most walkable city, is it really? I mean, really? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the top five walkable areas of Greenville, the downtown area more specifically. So if that's important to you and you want to know about the walkability of Greenville, South Carolina, then you need to stay tuned. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about the Greenville area and places like we are right now doing the walkability tour, of downtown Greenville, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the Greenville area. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and we would love to help you have a smooth transition here. So whether it's a week from now or a year from now, all of my information is below and do not hesitate to reach out. Let's go ahead and take our tour. To make this video make sense and to do it the justice that it deserves, let's first talk about what a walkable neighborhood is. And by definition, right? So most people are gonna have different definition for a walkable neighborhood. Some may say if it has sidewalks, some may say, does it have the ability to get to a restaurant quickly or to a grocery store quickly by walking, right? So we're going to use walkscore.com's way. That's by the housing density and the fastest way to get anything to eat or to work. So now that we've established what a walkable neighborhood is, let's go ahead and go through downtown Greenville and check out all the walkable neighborhoods and the top five of them for sure. Our first stop is going to be Shocking, downtown Greenville. How WalkSquare determined the area they're gonna use for downtown as the neighborhood is they started at McPherson Park, came down Academy, cut across on East Broad, and came up on North Church to hit Park Street. That's a whole lot of area to cover to get a walking score of 80. That is huge. So as you go through thinking about the downtown area, that is what most of us cover when we come down and say we're going to Falls Park, the Liberty Bridge, Main Street, um, like I said earlier, McPherson Park, the downtown area has its own public transportation with buses as well as the trolley system. Buses cost a very little fee of only $1.50 while the trolley is free. You want to go on the app to figure out their travel patterns as well as their days and times. On game day, it's very tricky for those trolleys. There's only two that run, 907 and 908. All the other stops will not work and you want to make sure you're on the right travel plan. You also have the ability to be able to use the electric bikes. Again, you want to make sure that you're charging them within the 60 minute allotted time if you're on the day pass or you want to make sure you turn them in in the 30 minutes if you did the single use one. It's very important that we keep all of this area very clean and lively so people do want to have a walkable area to go to. With having the ability to get to 19 restaurants, bars, or coffee shops of the 132 that are here, it's no shock to me why it was given the highest walkable rating of the area. So let's go ahead and check out number two. Our second most walkable neighborhood in downtown Greenville area would be Viola Street area. That is what they're considering the area that's next to Academy, which is the Children's Museum area, the Greenville Theater, which you'll see Anastasia's coming in the fall. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm a Disney dork, so I'm quite excited by this. We have videos of me inside on the stage as they're preparing for the next performance, which is the theater right before Anastasia. We wanna check that out. I'm excited. I was literally on the stage where everybody's gonna be performing. How cool is that? There are close to 600 seats inside this theater. And when WalkScore did this, remember, they went off of where you could eat or where you could work or get to really quickly by walking. They didn't talk about entertainment. So in the comments, I'd like to hear your opinion. Should they have taken into consideration things you get to do? You can go to Cook Station really easily. It's a restaurant and it's a store. So I'm not sure if they took that in consideration. There are 50 different restaurants, coffee shops, and stores you can get to in the area but there's only roughly two to three from each person's house is what they're saying. You can get to within a five minute walk is why it was given the walkability score of a 69. I don't really understand that. If you agree, say I agree. If you don't, please go ahead and put in the comments because I'd love to hear your opinion. There's 1900 people that live in this section of the area. Prices of homes range between 500 to over a million to $2 million in this area. So, I don't know if I quite agree of a walkability score of only 69 of this section. Coming in number three for the best walkable neighborhoods in downtown Greenville is McBee, which is kind of no shock to me. It starts right here at Cleveland Park. 
So Cleveland Park is behind me and kind of beside me. So it is a huge area that kind of stretches out through downtown. It even taps into the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which can get you on a bike ride down to Furman University, over to various places like Malden for the Bridgeway Station, the zoo, which is right here in the huge playground. They have baseball fields, they have tennis courts. There's even activities on the trail that you can walk on for you to work out on your way. There's so many cool things to do in this area. It spans over to Church Street and almost into Pettigrew. We're gonna talk about Pettigrew in a minute. It's definitely on the walkable, don't miss it. There's Green Fetish Restaurant and it's natural and all earthy and wonderful salads and the peanut sauce is to die for. There's an outdoor restaurant bar area with the Jumbotron screen. There's just, even there's the coolest Publix and the shops and you can get a massage. There's tons of law firms. So if you wanted to work here and live here and play here, this is a great area at McBee. So coming in at a 67 is McBee. So if you want to have a walkable area and be right next to 385, oh, by the way, short walk to get to watch anything you want over at the well, the wellness center. We used to call it the Bilo. It's where we have basketball games we, uh, for the NCAA championship. We have concerts, we have the hockey team, we have everything. So you have really everything right here or you're a short bus trip away if you don't want to actually walk. That's crazy to me. And I think it's coming this way. Right now, downtown Greenville has pedicabs. Well, it's right next to downtown Greenville because it's part of it, right? So who's to say you couldn't get a pedicab downtown and pay an extra tip to get a drive home? I don't know, check it out. Number four on our list is kind of a unique one to me because I would call it Overbrook. I think most people would. They call it Greenline for walkscore.com. It is from Overbrook area to Wade Hampton where Bob Jones is. So I guess I can understand, you can't really just call it Overbrook, but just keep in mind Overbrook to Bob Jones over to Wade Hampton, okay? And that has a walkability score of 61, which makes sense if it's including Wade Hampton and Bob Jones. But Overbrook has been revitalized. It is a gorgeous area. Maybe five, 10 years ago, it wasn't so gorgeous. It was kind of sketchy, right? Now it is easy to walk to things like Fork and Plow. There's little mom and pop shops. There's various things. There's Shaw's Pharmacy. So you have your drugstore, you have your doctor's offices here, you have gas stations, you have everything you need. And it's all right here. The houses are gorgeous. Lots of them have been revitalized. They go from carriage style to Tudor style homes. They're just a really great place to live over here. So if you're thinking of, I wanna be close to downtown, maybe not on Main Street, maybe I don't wanna be next to the zoo, but I still wanna be downtown near Stone Avenue so I can get to Traveler's Rest easy, or maybe a quick commute over to Easley. This is a great location over what they call Green Line, we call Overbrook. Our last stop today is the Pettigrew Historic District. Pettigrew Historic District is one of the most charming areas of the downtown. It has shops, it has lawyers' offices, it has stores, it has coffee places, restaurants, but the biggest thing it has is culture and charm. These houses are from the early 1900s, late 1800s, somewhere in the late 1900s that were built after that. These homes are so unique and different in their own way. There's city ordinance and guidance on how you can either upfit them or change them or revitalize them. You have to go through a process to make sure you're gonna keep the character and charm to this. These, It's right next to McBee also. So all those things that I shared with you about McBee, being right next to the zoo, right next to Cleveland Park. It has all those features as well. It's just one extra block away maybe, two extra blocks away, not too far. It does have a walkability score of 61, but I promise you one cool thing about the walkability score of Pettigrew is the fact I can see where all of our concerts are. The Wellness Center, Bon Secours Wellness Center is right there because this is where 385 and Academy meet. I can see everything and it's so quiet. It's so quiet. There's plenty of people walking their dogs, plenty of people running, and it's just a very charming city. It's a very charming neighborhood. So if you wanted to have a neighborhood that's not gonna change, that has good bones, beautiful trees, lush landscaping, and to be able to get the things like the Swamp Rabbit Trail, 
pretty quickly, this is a great neighborhood for you. So there you have it, the top five neighborhoods of walkability in downtown Greenville. If you've had any thoughts of moving to the Greenville area, make sure you reach out to us. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information is below. And if you want to see videos just like this, make sure you click right here.